we are going to solve a problem on how to find out the transfer function of a system whose signal flow graph is given to us. So let's see the question for this problem. So this is the signal flow graph of the system and for this system we have to find out the transfer function using the Mason's gain formula. So let's solve this problem. Now the Mason's gain formula is given by T is the transfer function of the system, PK it is the forward path gain and del K it is the determinant associated with the KF forward path and del is the graph determinant and uh, the summation of PK and del K it is from K equals to 1 to K. So this is the Mason's gain formula and for this formula, we uh, using this formula, we have to find out the transfer function of this system whose signal flow graph is as shown in the figure. So our step one will be to find out the forward paths in this signal flow graph. So forward path is a path which starts from the source node. Here we have source node as x1 because it is the input node and this node is having all the outgoing branches from it and it terminates this forward path it terminates at the sync node or the output node it is called sync node because all the branches they are coming towards it incoming branches so this is x8 it is the sync node now let us find out the forward paths in this system start from here that is the source node we have this this is coming towards it so we will go here that is g1 then we will go g2 then straight so we have this forward path as g1 and g2 is there any other forward path let's see starting from here then g1 then we can go to g3 but from g3 we can go to g8 g10 but from g10 there is no arrow or no path which is going to this sync node so any other path we can choose g3 no we have no any other path is not present here there is no forward path other than this g1 g2 so we have only this one forward path in this system now let us find out the del1 for this forward so for this forward path that is g1 and g2 is there any loops which are not touching this forward path yes we have g8 g9 we have this g11 then we have g8 g10 and this this is g7 here so we have g8 g10 and g7 also so these are the loops which are not touching this forward path so we can write del1 as 1 minus 
फर्स्ट वी विल हैव जी एट जी नाइन देन वी विल हैव दिस जी इलेवन देन वी कैन हैव दिस जी एट जी टेन एंड जी सेवन okay so these three loops they are not touching this now is there any pair of loops which is not touching this forward path yes we have a pair of g8 g9 and this g11 these two pairs of are of the non touching loops which are not touching this forward path so we can have g8 g9 and g 11 here okay so this is the del 1 for the path forward path 1 now step number 2 will be to write all the loops again so let's follow our step number 2 step number 2 we will find out the loops so loops are l1 it is we have the first loop g8 g9 then we have second loop as g11 then we have third loop as g8 g10 g7 now the next loop number 4 it is we have this g3 g5 then we have loop number 5 as do we have any other loop yes this g1 g3 and g4 any other loop then we have g2 g6 g7 and g5 then we have g1 g2 g6 g7 and g4 so these are the seven individual loops in our signal flow graph now we have to find out the non touching loops let's find out the pairs of non touching loops okay is there any pair yes we have g8 g9 and g11 so first pair is g8 g9 g11 then we have the pair of this g3 g5 and g11 then we have this g1 g2 g6 it is also touching is there any other loop then we have g1 g3 g4 yes we have this g1 g3 g4 and g11 okay so we have three loops that is three pairs of loops which are not touching to each other first we have g8 g9 and g11 then we have this g1 g3 g4 and g11 and then we have this g3 g5 and g11 so these are the pairs of non touching loops now let's find the triplets is there any triplet or three loops which are not touching to each other see in the graph is there any three loops no we are not having any triplet of loops which are not touching to each other so triplets are nil now step number four we have to find out the del that is the graph determinant and it is given by 
minus sum of the gains of all the individual loops so we have to find out the sum of the gains of all the loops so we will have g8 g9 putting the all the loops and summing up them then plus some of the gains of all the combinations or pairs of non-touching loops so we have g8 g9 g11 so this is the value of del now in the next step that is step number five we will put all the values into the Mason's gain formula to obtain the transfer function as we are having only one forward path so we will have k equals to 1 and t will be equals to p1 del 1 upon del so putting the value of p1 we have p1 as g1 g2 and del 1 was we have obtained it earlier this is the value of del 1 so putting it here we will get 1 minus g8 g9 divided by del and putting the value of del here okay i have not put the value i have just written del because it's too long so we will obtain the final value of the transfer function as So this is our overall transfer function and it is the solution to our question. I hope you have clearly understood the problem. Thank you.